third one next match and we revert uh, to mixed doubles and it is the defending champions the number two seeds Jiang Yan and Zhao Yunlei who also happen to be the Olympic champions uh, against the Swiss combination of Anisman Di Martore and Sabrina Chaplay and then you can see right at the bottom of the door to win two Olympic gold medals at the same Olympics. Now look at their win-loss record for the year. Four finals, including two titles. Yang Nan, 23 years of age, born in Beijing. Zhao Yun Lei, 26. Of course, Zhao Yun Lei is not the only player to have won two Olympic gold medals. Seven other players have done that but not at the same Olympics. So there's Sabrina Jacquet, 26 years of age. And World ranking, as I say, 58. And a win loss record for the year, just in the negative. Well, he's 25 years Day's of age. Ready. Turned 25 last Friday. Oh, only just 25. And then he will be relishing this opportunity to play against world and Olympic champions. And I mean that in all sincerity because, of course, the Swiss combination will not have arrived at these world championships expecting or hoping for a medal. What they will have loved is the fact that they can play against a pair of this stature. A bit like when, when Danish soccer teams um, they uh, see the draw for the Champions League and European League. A lot of them hope to draw against Barcelona or Manchester United. They want to play at yes. the biggest stage yeah. against the best players, and that's what these two Swiss badminton players are going to do right now. Ladies and gentlemen. On my right, Sabrina Jack, Anthony Dormatry, Switzerland. On my left, Jiang Nan, Jiao Yunlei, China. Sabrina Jack has served to Jiao Nan. Level play. Yeah. So the Swiss pair ah. nearest to us. Oh dear, ominous. Start there. Sorry, the defending One, world up. champions. Oh, China, Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei. This is the first meeting between these two pairs. fortune. She does that too often for it to be luck.
for the open space. Five, left. Well, this is the fourth consecutive World Championships that this pair from Switzerland have competed in. Bad in 2009, Paris in 2010, of course, the last World Championships in Wembley in 2011, and they have yet to win a match. Prior to this, of course, was in the first round here. Beat the Russian combination of and Oh, that's nice. Lovely oh, shot. Having seen their teammates, the world number ones, Xi Chen and Ma Jin, go to that swimming three games against the Danes, Colby and Yule, that they wouldn't take this lightly at all. They have seen their teammates struggle and being pushed the full distance. You'd think they would find the guns blazing, wouldn't you? Yeah, but it's still, um, there's a big difference between the opposition. Uh, the Danes are quite a bit stronger than. Yeah. The pair from Switzerland here, so I understand the Chinese uh, attitude towards this game. Uh, it's like, let's see what they can, and they got off to a good start, 6-1 or something like that. 6-1, uh, 7-2, yeah. and then they know, they know they're going to use extra all over the place and that's testament to part of the program that helped six. implement the coach education program. We don't really well in that department in world terms. Oh,
Champions Switzerland have had six times, six consecutive times national champions in the mixed doubles discipline. 14, 7. We were talking in the previous match about educating yourself whilst playing badminton and uh, I know in Switzerland, and most, most sports are yeah. like playing back in the same thing. So the educational yeah. thing is the highest priority in Switzerland. Taking anything like the heat learned his lesson. Kevin Corden, love. He's not here, is he? No, I don't think he is at these world championships, but that was the the talking point really of the last world championships, wasn't it? Sorry, so Opportunities for the Game four. champions now. to the lights before he was actually going to focus on the shuttle. 21-11, opening game. Just 10 minutes of play. Very relaxed indeed. 
obviously, you know, obviously, outclassed really in that opening game. I don't think that's been too harsh. Yeah. So what do you as a coach then say to a pair that's that's playing the world and Olympic champions? Do you, do you give them one specific thing to try and focus on and try and do or and get them not to think about the game score and just say, okay, right, for your development you need to do this or or do you just tell them to enjoy the occasion? <laughs> yeah, it's difficult. Uh, I think you, you cannot have some goals in this match. You just no. have to to have some uh, agreements that you want to, to do, what you want to try to do, and definitely Part enjoying one, the occasion will be a big part of it. Uh, anything else would be good over here, but the thing is then, when are, when are we going to switch? I'm just enjoying. Let's go, Lee. Former World Olympic champion, of course, two time Olympic mixed doubles champion. One, love. Of the first broadcasters. Sorry, I interrupted you there, Steve. Oh, that's okay. I've spoken to Lee as well now. You can see her. She's up near those spots that um, blinded uh, Anthony mm. Marjorie. Yeah, the, the difficult thing is to to figure out when is your combination or your player actually good enough to start having a little bit of result goals as well. Or yeah. Three, left. And for the Swiss pair, with all due respect, they're not complete youngsters, 25 and 26 years of age. So, you know, this is their fourth world championships. It's not as if you're, you're talking to a a 17-year-old who you know is going to develop considerably and improve considerably. Of course they can improve, I don't, I don't want to take that the wrong way, but they're probably not going to make a dramatic improvement no, over the rest of their careers. That's why it must be tilted towards enjoying it. Yeah. Service over. Seven, four. Hey. Service over. 
Side. Service over. Oh. Nine eight. Oh my God, this is this stadium. that she thought it was out. I have to say, a couple of times she's actually been warned by umpires for trying to influence the line judges by doing that. I think it's now a habit. It's also, um, I mean, if the to stop this influencing the line judges, if you influence the line judges, you have to duck at one point, then it will stop all of a yes. sudden, very, very quickly. game interval. Just one point in it, but an advantage with the defending champions. Yep. Not, not uh, that we guess that she would end up winning two Olympic gold medals. She was part of a very, very strong training regime with yes. um, Wang Chen and um, oh. the final to Camilla Martin in 1999. Oh. Dai Yun. Dai Yun, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Zhang Ning ended up the biggest of them all. Yes, that's right. I guess there must be some, uh, hey. some uh, Chinese uh, ladies' doubles players. Uh, we had uh, Zhao Golding, Golding one two, yep. with Zhao Yunlei. Yes, with uh, um, Yao Ling, of course, the mixed doubles with the coach here. Yeah. And, uh, and the others were Gefei and Gu Jun. One, 
of those eight players. Chinese. Depend on me, only one Chinese player to win two and goal. It's absolutely imperative for this pair from Switzerland. They've done so well so far in this second game. Keep the momentum going. Right idea. Soft to smash that time. Service over. Fifteen. Seventeen. The variation in pace causing yeah, there's some problems. Service over. away from a place in the third round. of the score two straight games 21 11 21 15 for the number two seeds and defending champions so that of course concludes all matches on day two of a competition well it's been a good day of badminton Seen an upset. Seeds go out in the mixed doubles. The number 16 seeds, Adcock and White, have beaten. 
But it all started with William Sims in the left hander. Takahashi safely through against the Malaysian in two straight games. As I was just saying, Adcock and White. Adcock, of course, silver medalist two years ago, but with a different partner. He's fallen at his first hurdle this time. Then it was uh, Rijal and Suzanto had to battle so hard against Hashimoto and Maeda. Came from a game down, as indeed uh, did the world number ones, Xi Chen and Ma Jin, uh, against another former world champion, Ruta Yu, now playing, of course, with Matt Golding. Then uh, we had an upset uh, once again in the mixed doubles. Kim and Jung from career defeating the Malaysian number six seeds. Bit of disappointment for them. Bit of walkover in the women's singles, which was very disappointing. But uh, then we had another mixed doubles in the number seven seeds twice. World Championship bronze medalists, uh, Sukit and Sara Lee, safely through against the New Zealand pair. And then what a thrilling men's doubles. The Danes, uh, Bonda and Conrad Pedersen, saved four match points in that second game against Dasuki and Gornobin before coming back 21-18 in the decider. The young left-handed Spaniard Carolina Marin beat the more experienced Adrianti Ferdasari in the women's singles and it's an exciting time for a Marin. She really is a great talent and as we've just seen in the mixed doubles, the defending champions uh, and, of course, the Olympic champions. They're the number two seeds, Jiang Nan and Zhao Yunlei. Two straight games against the Swiss combination. So that is it for today on day two of competition. We, of course, will be back tomorrow, 12 noon local time. More of us here, especially from Richard Steen and myself, Jill Clark. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.